Kia ora and welcome to Extra Time. I'm Andy Burt, this is Piri Wepu, and we're going to wrap up the latest round of Super Rugby, but also today we're going to take a look at who's putting their hands up for the All Blacks, with that team being named this Sunday at 9.30am. But Piri mate, before we chat about that, we've got a pretty cool prize to give away. What have we got? Well, <clears throat> match ball from the uh, Chiefs and the Lions last year. Uh, obviously it's not white when it, it's supposed to be white, but it just shows that uh, it's a match ball. And, uh, it was a wet night there, so there's yeah. a bit of paint, so that's how you know it's a, a genuine bit, ball. Uh, no, we didn't put dye on it, <laughs> okay? It was a bit of uh, paint from the uh, from the ground. That's the real deal. The uh, Chiefs lost that game 34-6, but that's a bit of history. But that's not all we've got. We've got the New Zealand Rugby trading cards right here. You get a pack of five. This is a great set of cards. Check out that. Pits. How good is that, mate? Did I make this, or did I get into the squad? Well, there is a legend series in there, so, mate, you're going to have to buy some. That's definitely not me. you have to buy some. That's definitely not me. And there's signature cards in there. It's like getting the Willy Wonka golden ticket if you get one of those. Not only that, you get a Super Rugby jersey of choice. So that's a hell of a prize. This one was shown the other week with Castle, so we'll just put that one away. We'll hold up the blues, eh? <laughs> They're coming back this year. They're going to come back. So it's a jersey of your choice. Jersey of your choice, cards, and a ball. All of that, but we're going to ask the question at the end that you need to answer to win that prize, so stay tuned. But mate, getting into this round, um, great round of Super Rugby. We kicked off on Friday night, Blues v Hurricanes. Big matchups across the park, SBW against uh, La Mape, Fita v Tui Pelotu. Big matchups across the park, and um, we're going to look at a couple of players that stood up. First here was uh, Milner Scudder. He's back with the Scudder step, isn't he? Wow, he's just, yeah, well, he's back. Through from injury and uh, given a little bit of an opportunity here and made the most of it and got over the line and got a bit of a meat pie. And that scudder step, you know it's coming. But they oh. still fall for it, don't they? I think it's just, you know, you, you can't anticipate it. Like, mm. he might go the other way. Yes. Yeah. He's that sort of uh, player where doesn't matter what side he uses, yeah. uh, he'll fool you anyway. You know so. it's coming, it's like Stone Cold Steve Austin with a Stone Cold Stunner, you know it's coming, <laughs> but you're still going to get hit by it. Exactly. Uh, but uh, no, I mean, he's, it's good to see him back and, you know, got a bit of a, uh, got up and wasn't too ginger after yeah. it, but uh, hopefully it's not too bad. I don't think it's too serious, but how do you rate his chances this week to be named this Sunday in that squad? Uh, it's a tough one because he hasn't played a lot of rugby mm. uh, and it all depends, I guess, you know, on opportunities and he's probably made the most of them at the at this stage yeah um but yeah it's gonna be a tough one to he'll be in the chat play. though won't he definitely talk definitely. about another player that came back from injury was sbw and how good did he play on friday night oh he played awesome you know you could see he was real keen to get back out there and help his teammates you know from uh being out injured uh set up this try here beautifully the first try with the offload trademark uh, exactly mm. and uh you know his defense uh, around the around the pitch was awesome. You know, yeah. um, usually you expect like big hits from him, but he's actually chopping and uh, trying to uh, get back up on his feet. Yeah, then, around uh, the bootlaces, eh? And then get Going up and try and jackal. So you know, he's uh, obviously had a bit of time off the field, uh, away from it at all, and I guess he's just uh, keen to get back out there. And he's added some more dimensions to his game. Like the little chip through there is something we didn't see a couple of years ago from his speed up, but he's added that to his game, isn't he? Oh, I think he's probably just you know fine-tuned it a bit, bit better. He uh, he has practiced it, you know, yeah. uh, over the years, but mm. uh, he's never really had the opportunity to uh, pull it out. Uh, but yeah, no, he's uh, obviously mm. working hard on his game. For me, he came back strong. He's my number one pick, second five on AB selector. I've got him in there. Hey, look, um, Crusaders v Waratahs. Waratahs went out to a massive 29-0 lead. Oh, Four great tries. Oh, that start was uh, out, outstanding, you know. Mm. Especially uh, Falau with the, uh, over the high, yeah. under the high ball, um, being able to create opportunities there. Uh, on, even just with the counter attack there with Kurt yeah. Uh But yeah, I mean, that start. I don't yeah. think the Crusaders were expecting them to They're start. Shell shocked, weren't they? 29 exactly. nil. But uh, yeah, I guess, you know, if uh, they get a sniff, you know, they pretty much uh, they'll graft the, graft the win out no matter what. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we've seen it. Last season, you know, there's probably about five games that they just won. Yeah. And that's because they got back into the game, grafted it, grafted it, and then basically yeah. got the win. In and the they year. are the comeback kings, but we got to look at that moment with Joe Moody. Elbow to the face of Kurtley Beal. Kurtley Beal went down, he scored the try. If that's picked up on the field, Joe gets a red card, down to 14 men, they're 29 nil down, they're not winning that game. Why? Well, he's not usually like that. No. Joe, and I think he, you know, probably was closer by putting his elbow up, so if he that it definitely would have been pulled back. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, like having that uh, that deception, him taking out that extra player mm. with uh, Bill, and then uh, him actually mm. 
Scores a try scores from it. it. Yeah. And, you know, it's definitely something that should have been reviewed at, uh, out on the field, but uh, yeah, got away with that one. I on actually the think field. that the Waratahs, this is fuel for the Waratahs. So they're going to get into a quarterfinal situation where they're going to probably play a New Zealand team and they're going to think about that moment, how they got done, and that could be the impetus they need to get up and knock, no. off, knock off the NZ team. Well, I guess they've just got to, got to you know, make sure they pick the right moments uh, and don't get pinged and yeah, do, it, yeah. do it properly. That's right, that's right. <laughs> hey, moving on to a guy that's flown under the radar, Rob Thompson for the Highlanders. He's uh, racked up a lot of minutes for the Highlanders this year. Mr. Dependable doesn't make a mistake, but he creates tries out of nowhere as well, as oh, we saw two times. I know, he's, he's um, like he said, he's been under the radar. He's been playing mm. great footy for the last, what, three, two, three seasons. Yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously he's just doing his job and, uh, you know, creating opportunities like this out yeah. of nothing, uh, yeah. week in, week out. And, you know, he's quite reliant around, you know, you can rely on him on defence and, uh, and and things like that. But uh, he scored a meaningless try off a, off a uh, set move that the yeah. Landers did earlier on in the campaign and yeah. come up with a wowee. But, you know, yeah. he's um, definitely one they'll be talking about. He does his job, but he does also have that little touch of X-Factor, doesn't he? So I think he's got to be in the chat with Hanson and the selectors, doesn't he? Well, I'd say he would be, you know last couple of years, although they, they may have their, their players that they've uh, got mm. cemented in, but I mean, he's probably one guy that yeah. you'd sort of see as a... Uh, you'd know he had to do his job, yeah. Hey, over to the Chiefs game against the Stormers. Now, this is really season on the line stuff for the Chiefs, because they're losing a few All Blacks next week for the game against the Sharks. They had to win this. They played this like a test match, really. Their defence was superb. Uh, we're going to take a look at one of their tries here. It was big players standing up here with McKenzie with the uh, cross kick. Well, I don't believe the cross kick was on. But the bounce was just real lucky. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the support that the boys uh, do around, you know, when mm. they're not actually uh, involved, uh, just off the ball and, and, you know, opportunities to uh, be available is awesome. Yeah. You know, but yeah, just lucky bounce lucky there bounce. for them. Mm. You know, but you make most of it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, uh, mm. you know, they've obviously got a few boys that they're going to be missing this weekend. And, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see how they... And they, timely for Albie yeah. to score a try with AB selection coming up because he's had a bit of a quiet year by his standards so that could just put him back in the frame. Another couple of good games here. Yeah, I think, you know, he's probably not, like, uh, outstanding mm. but he's still um, doing his job and uh, creating opportunities when he can but, uh, yeah, by his standards are probably a bit quiet compared to yeah. last year and the year before so, yeah. you know, I guess he's still... A guy that they'll, they'll keep in, in the fold and um, he'll be a yeah. very important person for them. So it's going to be really interesting this weekend, 9.30 a.m. on Sunday, the team's named. It's going to be really interesting to see who's named in that 33-man squad. Now, to win the prize, ball, cards and a jersey of choice, you just need to tell us who's your first pick forward and who's your first pick back in the All Black squad. And why? And Pity's going to go through all those answers and select the winner. So send in heaps of heaps of answers, oh, so you give them a lot of work oh. to do. All right, <laughs> we, we make it busy this week. So send in loads of answers. Go into the draw to win that. Pity's going to pick the best answer. Who's going to win that? And we've got something else in store for you on AllBlacks.com. Once that 33-man squad is named, we've got a campaign called Pick Your 15. So you can play the selector. You can jump in and pick your starting 15 for the first test against France. There's loads of prizes to be won. Tickets. And you get to be a selector and have your say. So make sure you tune into allblacks.com and all black social media channels to have your say and pick your 15. But do, do they have to be in the fifth, in the 32 squad? Can they pick themselves if they want to <laughs> be in the starting 15? No, you can't pick yourself, Pity. I wasn't all right. talking about me. You can't me. pick yourself. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs>